What is up everybody? It had to be done with another Returnal boss guide for you today. We are having a look at the final boss in the game. It's finally time for Ophion. Hope you enjoyed your underwater time. This was by far the most hectic biome in the game for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And just having a look at the weapon I picked for it, I picked my trusty Hollow Seeker. I know a lot of you don't like it, uh, but you'll see how I use it and hopefully you'll have a little bit of a change of heart. We're using a level 26 weapon as well, which is not too overpowered, so we have enough time and it's probably more of the average gameplay. So let's dive and get started. The map design for this fight is absolutely incredible. Uh, a lot of the things you can to actually really notice when you're fighting because of so much that's happening but hopefully you can use the video to enjoy the details of the boss as well it is absolutely terrifying and massive definitely worth of being the final fight in this amazing game so as it comes out i'm going to start talking about how to actually do damage because it's it's got a slightly different mechanic to be able to shoot the areas where you actually make damage to Ophion, you'll have to shoot similar light orbs as the ones that you use to get on the platforms to get to this fight. As you can see me doing on the video right now, we'll just not really pay attention to the first move so you can see this, as it took me a little bit to find it on the first time I fought him. So remember, throughout the whole fight you first shoot a light and then the red dots are visible and that's what you go for. As you see the tentacle coming up, you can expect it to come down and it will send a shockwave towards you. This one, slightly more challenging than most bosses, it's actually a purple one, which means you cannot dodge through. So make sure you give it a long jump and then you dash over it and get back to shooting. We go to the light and then to the red dots. The discs that appear in front of Opion are what will indicate what type of move is coming your way. When you see them coming from the edges of the screen towards the center over each other and to the other end, you have these double waves of orbs. They're quite slow and you just gotta find the gap. As you can see, it will keep slamming the ground and that will definitely take more attention from you considering you can dodge through these orbs. As it summons the discs in a horizontal line, you want to move left or right. I completely missed it, but this one is not too difficult to dodge. One dash and you should be out of the way. Remember, always prop the light and then go for the red dots. Sometimes it does give you a little bit of time. We have the discs in a circular fashion. That will just throw very, very fast projectiles, which is a few steps to either of the sides should have you clear of danger. Once again, horizontal lines, but this time a little bit higher. Those are downwards lines. Quite easy to find the little gap. Uh, it gets more difficult later on, but just enjoy the fact that you can just pick a place and stick with it. Once again, we're getting these um, blue orbs towards us. It's straightforward and a new move. Uh, I like to call these sort of curtains. Uh, they're a lot scarier than they are actually challenging to dodge. Just, just go right through it. Use your eye frames. Remember that you cannot be hit while dodging. Now we're getting to the second stage. I'm just really focusing on getting the last bit of damage and giving myself a breather. You see me looking back, sometimes you'll have some sylphium to allow you to heal. Uh, so you just keep an eye out there if you're struggling with survivability. Ophion will start using its hands for the slams, which is a lot faster and has more rage. One thing to pay attention to is that every time it slams the ground, you'll see a big shake on the screen. You can feel the vibration. Once you get that, you just need to look out for where it comes from. Getting some good damage done here. Thank you, Hollow Seeker. And let's have a look at the next move. When the discs form an eye shape, what you want to do is just start moving slowly to one of the sides as the beams take a little while to charge and you don't want to run out of area. I know it's not very intuitive, but it does work as you can see. Also remember to have your back against the wall as long as if it's coming towards you as it does these sweeps from time to time and those not only do a lot of damage but they knock you over and you definitely don't want that happening during your final boss fight in the game. You can see the cell film there on the ground so I'm going to save that for later. The lines coming out come in pairs so you do have to move a little bit. 
Uh, don't get overwhelmed with the amount of orbs. Remember, as I said a bunch of times in other videos, you're looking for a gap where you fit, not trying to comprehend everything that's happening on the screen. That's when you get overwhelmed. That's when you get hit. Take it in. Do enjoy the fight. Uh, but remember, most of it is just distractions. These beams spawn at the top and come your way. So similarly to the previous beams, you just want to walk to one of the sides and you should be safe and sound. Keep shooting, keep draining. Um, some, uh, some other horizontal lines coming on the ground. No, we just skip over them. I like skipping all the way to one side and then skipping back as they come slightly diagonally. So I find it a bit difficult to jump to at the same time. As we get closer to the end of any of the health bars, you see that you have less options of where to shoot, so uh, do kind of refresh your aim and go for it again. Back against the wall, jump in when you have to, constant shooting. Um, remember it's about surviving more than your DPS, so uh, take your time. Here, for example, I went a little bit too fast, but I had enough time to start going under. As it gets to the last bit of the health bar, I like resetting and trying to go back to the center of the arena where I have more space to play. And here we go. Third stage, reset and get ready. Uh, another thing I would recommend is definitely try and get close and have a look at the face. Um, it took me about five runs of Ophion until I actually realized that. As you're probably used to at this point in the game, the, the final phase is everything you've seen so far, but with combinations and with a lot more aggression. You will get hit, and that is okay. Bring some healing, I don't know, maybe on your artifacts, maybe parasites. I have a couple of vials that I'm saving, so do not get thrown off when you get hit. It's about how quickly you recover. We keep draining its health bar down, steadily finding the spots where we can stand and as you see there is just so much on the screen so take a moment stop shooting just just find your spot stay safe and then go back to it now now it's the time we're now getting just below half health on the last bar so we're looking really good stay clear of the orbs Remember to try and position yourself where you think the gap for you will be before it's time. Uh, we do a little bit of skipping here, a little bit more speed than the combination, so I do have to give myself a little bit lower than I did before, uh, but not too much to worry about. As it gets to probably the last quarter of health, Ophion gets his last ace out of its sleeve and and this is probably the only move in the game I find near impossible to dodge. You have a combination of the moves that it was already doing, plus this massive spiral of ultra fast projectiles, plus homing ones as well. So the way I try doing it is orbit towards it. So as the homing ones are coming my way, they'll stay behind me. But every time I did this fight, I got hit a few times. And that is it, you've done it, you've defeated Ophion, really, really well done. I hope you enjoyed this fight as much as I did, and if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you, leave a like, subscribe if you want more of it, and comment anything you want to tell me. Um, I'll see you on my next upload, I hope you keep enjoying the game, it's not over.